Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Veronica and for today's video we have a first sniff session with my favorite favorite fragrance oil company Lark Supply but before we get into it make sure you guys like this video make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell so you're aware of all future videos all right guys before we dive into this first sniffs video I want to just give a shout out to Jesse Jesse is the owner for Lark Supply now I cannot rave enough about this brand I've been telling all my friends and family not that they you know are in the market for buying fragrance oils but for anyone out there who is you know interested in purchasing fragrance oils because they either make candles wax melts um body products anything in that nature you guys need to try out lark supply um another thing that i love is she is canadian based she is based in bc i'm just so happy that i can support another canadian i'm all about that all about that canadian love um but every single fragrance oil that I've already ordered from her even if it wasn't something that I personally would use in a product every single oil smells amazing like there's just something so beautiful about it and I just feel like there's a lot of depth to her oils where a few oils from a different company that I smelt it was just it was night and day for me um it was just I don't know there's there's just so much more depth to the oils even my boyfriend said the same thing it's just such a beautiful blend of uh scents that she puts together and i absolutely love them i'm here for it so i'm really excited because she did send me quite a few oils as you can see i did purchase a few of these but most of them she did send out to me um so that i can review them for you guys so i can do first sniffs on camera with you guys so i'm really really excited so let's get into sniffing we have a lot to get through guys and starting off with our first scent we have crushed peppermint sticks this has notes of peppermint leaves sweet vanilla sugar crystals and musk so let's see how this one smells and yes i know this is more of a winter scent but you know i wanted to i wanted to throw in a little bit of like fall winter type of scents oh yes absolutely yes this is beautiful i really really like this one i'm getting that sweet it's the sweet vanilla just mixed with the peppermint leaves it's refreshing it's cooling this is gorgeous this is really really pretty it's not very strong um, smelling it from the bottle, which usually scents can be like that. Just straight out of the bottle, it might be like really, really intense. I feel like this might be a little bit of a lighter performer. But it's beautiful. I think it's just the vanilla that might be toning it down a little bit. But this is really, really, really gorgeous. I definitely would use this in my winter line. Next up, we have Blonde Woods and Chestnut. And this one has notes of chestnut, caramel, sea salt, woody notes. Burke Barch Leather and Aquatic Notes. I'm actually kind of surprised to see the Aquatic Notes part. Wasn't expecting it, but let's see. And the only reason I got this is because I feel like it's going to give me like campfire type of vibes, if you know what I mean. Oh, this is so pretty. It's not giving me 100% camp campfire vibes, but it is beautiful. I feel like it's a little bit light right now. Like I wish I got a little bit more of the scent. But I do, I'm still picking up the caramel. I pick up the chestnut. Oh, this is so pretty. I had to really put that up to my nose. This one was a little harder to smell. But this is really nice. It's, I, I really like this scent. I'm not sure how it will perform in a wax melt because you guys already know that's what I'm, I'm making it's our wax melts so I am hoping that this would be stronger in my wax melt because this is really gorgeous it's just real it's a little bit light in the bottle I'm getting the woody notes oh, the caramel oh this is so pretty I really really like this blend really really nice and then sticking to the same category we have toasted marshmallow this has notes of raspberry citrus marshmallow cashmere and vanilla bean so i found it really interesting to see the raspberry note in here um it says it adds like a little bit of fruitiness to it i don't know what it is that's going to make it smell more like a toasted marshmallow but let's just see oh yes absolutely that's so interesting you do pick up the raspberry but it smells like toasted marshmallow it's very complex this is gorgeous. I love it. 
Wow, this is this one's really nice. You get the vanilla. Ooh, okay, I'm getting more of the vanilla bean now. This is a beautiful bakery scent. But the thing is, I feel like I can still use this in the spring and summertime. Because it's not like it's a cloyingly crazy sweet bakery type of scent or anything. I wouldn't even really consider toasted marshmallow bakery. It's just, it's just, it's like sugar. It's sugar. It's just a sweet sugar. It's really nice though. I really like this. And I do get that cashmere too. It's like softening it up a little bit. Oh, this is beautiful. This is gorgeous. Oh my goodness. I have to start making my favorites pile. This is definitely a favorite favorite. Like this is really, really nice. Next up we have black currant and cashmere and this has notes of black currant, berry, lavender, vanilla, and patchouli. I'm really, really intrigued as to what this is gonna smell like. Ooh. This is really pretty. I really like this. Okay, I think the reason I initially had gotten this one was because Scentsy has a lot of scents that have black currant in them. And they're always sweet. They're all, always really, really pretty. Black currant with berries, black currant with plum, which I have one of those here as well. Um, this is beautiful. I don't know if I pick up the lavender. I do pick up the patchouli though. So I really, really love patchouli. There's just something about patchouli and scents that are, it's just so beautiful. It's very soft. It's pretty. And I think like the vanilla, it's, the vanilla is a little bit softer in here. I pick up more of the black currant, the berry, and the patchouli. This is really pretty. It's very different. I do think this would be more of like a fall type of scent though. But it's really gorgeous. I just don't think I would use this right now. This wouldn't be for like a right now type of scent. And next up we have a very, very well-known scent, French Vanilla. This is a scent that everyone should love. I'm not even going to read the description for this because it's just, it's French Vanilla. Let's see how this smells. This is really pretty. Like, this is really pretty. Definitely something I would use during spring and summer as well. So I do think that this French vanilla would perform a little bit lighter. I personally think I would prefer vanilla bean buttercream over a French vanilla. There's just something about vanilla bean buttercream. I think it's probably just the heaviness with the sweetness mixed together. This one's still sweet. It's still creamy. But I just feel like it's a little bit too soft for me. But I think that this would be a really, really popular seller. Um, I know my cousin was obsessed with this one. So this one, this one would definitely be a hit um, when it comes to wax melts. Next, we have Vanilla Santal with Shea Butter. Uh, this one has notes of Valencia Orange, Nutmeg Lily, Tonka Bean, Shea Butter, Coconut Cream, Raw Honey, Vanilla Orchid, and Sandalwood. Now, when I was looking at the, um, the reviews for this one, everyone raved about it, how it's such a popular seller like seasonally the whole year like you can have this set all year round so i'm excited to smell this this is really pretty i really like this i get a lot of the tonka bean in this one i'm not really picking up coconut though i get the shea butter i don't really get the honey I get the vanilla orchid. This is really pretty. I can see why this is such a popular seller. I feel like it's a really warm, pretty scent. Like personally for me, I feel like I would only use this during fall and winter. This is really pretty. I can actually see this even being like in, um, in a perfume. Next we have Plum Moscato and Almond Harvest. And this one has notes of green plum, heliotrope, heliotrope? Heliotrope musk and vanilla so i specifically specifically got this one because it has plum in it and i have not smelled anything with plum yet by the way if you guys notice that i'm looking down it's because i have my phone like on the stand over here and i'm just looking at the um the scent notes Ooh. guys 
This is fucking good. This smells absolutely amazing. I was not expecting this whatsoever. Guys, I think I'm gonna have to remove one of the scents from the other brand and replace it with this. This is for like my initial launch that I already have, that I already had all planned out. I'm gonna have to add this one. This is beautiful. This is definitely spring summer vibes for me, but more, more leaning towards spring. It's nothing like crazy summer, but it's just, it's like, it's a fresh, fruity, sweet, a little musky. This is so good. Like, Jesse, what did what did you do with this one that it's so amazing? Oh my goodness, I'm obsessed. Can I get this in a body mist as well? No, girl, it's called I'm going to make some body mist with this. That's what it's called. This is beautiful. You do get that little bit of green in here, but the plum, the plum and the vanilla. This is gorgeous. Oh my god. Okay, this is definitely gonna be in my releases. In my 10 releases. Do you, do you know how hard it was for me to figure out what number of scent, like how many scents I should be releasing for my launch? I'm sticking to 10, I cannot do more than 10. I need to stick to 10 and then eventually I'll start, you know, doing singles of everything after. But this is good, this is definitely, I'm launching this 100%. It's so fucking good. I was. Just based off the name, I was not expecting that whatsoever. Next up, we have Memento Mori. This is the only bottle that like fully got drenched. Um, so this one, I was really intrigued by the scent description. So this one has dark chocolate, rum, caramel. Those are the top notes. Coffee, sugar cane, and then sandalwood, almond, and heliotrope. I think I said it right this time. I want to be careful with this one. Oh my god, this is so good. This is definitely more masculine. Ooh! Did that echo? I think my ooh just echoed. I get everything in here. I'm getting that little bit of dose of coffee in here. Dark chocolate, rum, caramel. I feel like I'm, I don't know, I'm just like, I'm having a moment right now, guys. Oh man, I'm smelling so much going on in here. I do get the sandalwood now. The, I get the dark chocolate. Like it's like, I feel like it's a super dark rich type of, type of chocolate. I get the caramel, I get the rum. This is beautiful. This is supposed to be, um, which one was it? Let me just look it down here. This is supposed to be inspired by Killian's Black Phantom, which I've never smelled that perfume before, so I wouldn't know. But this is gorgeous. I think it was just the description that Jesse had on the website for this perfume or for this fragrance oil. Really, really spoke to me. I was just like, I need to, I need to smell this. It sounds amazing and it is amazing and I love it. I love it. It's gorgeous. Oh, I'm excited to have like my own like, um, my own collection of like inspired by scents. Um, so that'll be nice to see how like people, you know, react to them because sometimes I feel like people don't always want, um, scents that smell like their perfumes in their home because they, they, what's the word? Like you, I don't know how to explain it exactly, but I think it's just this like mind connection where like you don't want your home to smell like a perfume that you're going to wear because if you're going to have the, the, the scent in your home, you might get kind of sick of it and then not want to wear it as a perfume. Like, do you know what I mean? Does that make sense? I think it makes sense. Next up we have sugar cookie and peppermint whisks. And this one has sugar cookies, peppermint, pine needles, vanilla, and sugar cane. I'm really hoping I like this one. This is very bakery. I really like this. I definitely get the peppermint. This is pretty. I do think the shh. Is it the, no. I think it's the pine needles that's throwing me off in this scent. I wish it didn't have the pine needles. I prefer the crushed peppermint sticks if I'm being honest. 
yeah i definitely prefer the crushed peppermint sticks more i think it's just because it's the mix of the vanilla with the peppermint leaves where this has like peppermint but then it also has pine needles so i think it's just adding a little bit too much for my liking it's still a really nice scent i still think it would be very popular actually but it's just not my favorite it's not my favorite all right guys so the one perfume or not perf sorry i keep saying perfume the one fragrance oil that i'm really really excited to smell um is a dupe for a perfume very 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 expensive perfume so yesterday i was at my cousin's house amanda um she's the one that i go to for her thoughts on absolutely everything fragrance related because she is fragrance crazy like i am and uh her her opinions are valid and they count they definitely count because i feel like anyone else would be like Ugh, i don't want to smell anything but her she just smells everything with me i love it um it's a fun time it's a fun time so she smelled the baccarat rouge yesterday and um i know that ariana grande's cloud is supposed to be a dupe for it um or it just smells similar and i've smelled ariana grande Ariana Grande's Cloud. I've smelt it and I love it. I think it's absolutely beautiful. Um, it's just weird because I'm almost positive that Ariana's perfume has like sweet notes in it where Baccarat Rouge does not. So let me just read to you guys what the scent notes are for this one. So we have here Baccarat Rouge 540. Is it 540? Yeah, 540. Um, this one has jasmine, saffron, fir, resin, cedar, amberwood, and ambergris. There's nothing sweet in here really, like per se. Like it's floral, it's woody, um, but I'm, I'm positive Ariana Grande's has sweet notes in there. But apparently they smell the same and I've never smelled Baccarat Rouge. So this will be my first time smelling something that's like Baccarat Rouge that's not Ariana Grande. Does that count? Yeah, this has to count. I mean, it's supposed to smell like it, so. God knows, I, I don't even know, where is it? Do they have, they probably have a, a Hudson Bay. I should probably go to Hudson Bay and smell it there. Yeah. Oh. Uh, I'm taken back, okay. Okay, so I will say this definitely reminds me of a Ariana's Cloud Perfume. Wow this is good this is what baccarat rouge smells like for real i'm acting like i like i didn't know because i mean cloud smells like it so i should i should have already been like well i i was prepared i was prepared for this to smell like cloud but it's just i think i'm just conflicted because cloud has like sweet notes in it and like baccarat rouge doesn't oh my goodness this is really good Ugh, I'm struggling with what to release. Oh my god, guys. You guys are killing me. I'm killing me. What am I saying? This is so hard. Jesse, you're killing me here. Oh my god. This is so good. This is so fucking good. I'm gonna replace it. I'm gonna replace the other brand's perfume and remove it i don't I, I just don't think i'm gonna use that other brand there's another company that I, I purchased from and i had two of their scents for my top 10 releases and or for my 10 releases and i just i'm not gonna use the brands i just i have to i'm sorry i have to stick to lark right now honestly i can't get over this baccarat rouge that was absolutely amazing like absolutely next we have here lychee and dahlia blooms uh, so this one has lychee, apple, peach, rose, magnolia, sandalwood, and musk. I'm expecting this to be more floral, so I don't think this is going to be a favorite, but we'll see. Oh, this is actually really pretty. This is a really pretty floral scent, actually. How many times am I going to say actually? I definitely pick up the apple. I pick up the lychee. The lychee's really sweet in here. I don't really get the rose. I get the magnolia and the sandalwood. This is really nice, actually. I I need to stop with this, actually. Uh, guys, count how many times I'm going to say actually in this fucking video. Good lord. This is really pretty. I really like it. The apple, the lychee, the magnolia. The magnolia is really light in this one. The sandalwood, a little bit of musk. 
but I mostly pick up lychee and apple. But those are also the top notes in here, so... This is really, really pretty. I really like this for a floral set. And then going on to a masculine scent, we have here Hemingway. Uh, this one has bergamot, grapefruit, rum, oakwood, clove, latinum, patchouli, tobacco, 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 amber, leather, and moss. This is definitely going to be a masculine scent, 100%. I can already sense it. But apparently this is also a very... Um, popular scent in the LARP group. Ooh. This is very strong. Definitely. I'm definitely picking up the bergamot and the rum. I get a lot of rum in here actually. It's kind of sexy. This is a very sexy masculine scent. Not a favorite at all <laughs> it's a, a little bit much for me let me just see what the reviews said i think there were two on the website i love how lu lux lux i love how lux demure and handsomely sophisticated this fra fragrance is looking for sophisticated and masculine scent look no further timeless and very well balanced yes it is it's just not for me it's a little bit much I feel like this would be a, a like a, a scent I would have a hard time like wanting to make because it just doesn't like I don't know but I know like my male customers would definitely probably like this I mean you know what maybe not all male customers would like that I'm sure female customers would also like it too next up we have Americana this one has notes of honey vanilla citrus strawberry sage coumarin lavender and wood so this one's supposed to be reminiscent of a uh, diner in the 1950s. Classic diner milkshakes. Mmm. It smells really pretty. I really like it, actually. Oh my god, I said the word again, guys. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm really, I'm really trying to pay attention to what I'm saying. I really, I do pick up um, on the lavender in this. It's not a favorite for me, but it's really nice, just not a favorite. I pick up the lavender, I pick up the wood, I feel like I'm getting more of the base notes right now. I don't really get honey, citrus, oh god. I get vanilla. I think I mostly just get vanilla, lavender, and wood. I don't really get like strawberry. I don't get strawberry at all. It's nice, but it's just not a favorite for me. Next up, we seem to have a citrusy, fruity type of scent. This is mandarin cranberry. And the this one has notes of golden orange, zesty mandarin, juicy cranberry, plum blossom, magnolia petals, and rosewood. Ooh. This is very juicy. I like it. I don't really get the magnolia in here at all, which I kind of like. But I'm definitely getting that orange. This is like very orange dominant. I think this would be a really, really nice citrus scent. Mandarin cranberry. I do get that cranberry. The cranberry adds a little bit of like tartness to this. Perfect name, Mandarin Cranberry. It's really nice. This, I feel like, would be something that would wake you up. Like, you need to wake up in the morning, like, get energized. Mandarin Cranberry. You need to get ready for a workout? Mandarin Cranberry. This is really, really good. Like, I, it's, my, excuse me, uh, my mouth is a little watery right now. This is really pretty. I really like this. Very, very citrus citrus heavy very fruity really like this one next up we have orange blossom and marshmallow clouds and this one has neroli bergamot orange blossom bulgarian rose marshmallow pomegranate vanilla and musk so if you guys haven't noticed from the description of this i mean marshmallow clouds this is supposed to be a dupe for killian's love don't be shy which i really really do like that perfume i don't own it um but um i love the marshmallow heaviness in it 
So let's see if this one would be the same or if it's going to be more floral or maybe it's going to be completely different. Oh, this is so good. This is so pretty. Yeah, this is very marshmallow heavy, guys. Very marshmallow heavy. I really like it. I would definitely make a body mist in this as well. Baccarat Rouge, honestly, the fact that I have two fragrance oils here that are dupes for these really expensive perfumes and they smell amazing. Even if these were not dupes for an expensive brand, I would still love this, per like, I would still love the way that these smell. This has, f and it's crazy because, like I said again, I'm not a fan of floral, and there is floral in here, but it has the marshmallow note, and it just makes it, like, it just makes it special, it makes it good, it makes it different. I really, really like this one. I'm not really picking up, no, no. Is it the Neroli? I think I picked, no man, I feel like the marshmallow is just overpowering the scent just a tad bit. So if you don't like marshmallow, you probably won't like this. I'm getting a little bit of the pomegranate, yes, yes, yes. This is gorgeous, this is beautiful. I'm 100% making a wax melt with this one. That one's so fucking good. Jesse, you did it again. Honestly, I can't even imagine how it is to have to like, or to try and recreate a scent of an actual perfume that exists. It must be so difficult. So, girl, you definitely did it with this. It smells absolutely incredible. Next up we have dark chocolate and candied orange, and this one has zested orange, sea salt, apple, and dark chocolate. I'm excited to smell this. This is very different. Dark chocolate with some sea salt, okay, and with some orange in here. This smells beautiful. I get, I get a lot of the zested orange with the apple and sea salt. I don't think I'm 100% picking up dark chocolate, but there is something really sweet and warm. Like, I feel like the dark chocolate is adding this, like, depth to it. Like, okay, do you guys know when you, um, when you purchase, like, cocoa or cacao, whatever you want to call it, like, 100% authentic dark chocolate like it could be 70% it could be 90% so the higher you go in percent when it comes to actual real chocolate like the cocoa um uh, I think it, what brand was it the lint l-i-n-d-t I never know how to say the, the the brand's name um but whenever you get like that pure chocolate usually I get the 70% just because I feel like I can handle it but when you get to 90% it's very bitter and like even the way it breaks like it just snaps in half because it's it's real it's real chocolate right and i feel like that's what i'm getting from this i'm getting like that really like deep dark type of chocolate where like it's not sweet like it's not sweet at all but it's like it's very like warm and it's a little bit bitter that's what i feel when i smell this but i feel like this would be actually hold on Lint does have, um, they do have a dark chocolate that actually has orange in it, which is reminding me more of this now. And I have tried it, and it's actually pretty good. It's a pretty good chocolate with the orange in it. This is really pretty. I actually really like this. This is really nice. It's very different. It's not what I was expecting at all. I do feel this would be a little bit better for fall, for fall, but... I feel like you could still use this right now. Like if anything, I wouldn't even mention that there's dark chocolate in here. I'd probably just say like um what would I call this? Something like salted or no, sea salt or something sea salt and orange. Salty orange? No, that's terrible. That's a terrible name. Salted orange sea salt orange i don't know i just what i mostly pick up is the sea salt in the orange i do get some of the apple the apple is in there it's definitely in there she's hiding but she's there this is really nice i, I this is this is a nice blend i really do like it next up we have creme liqueur and cinnamon 
This one has notes of spiced liquor, Irish cream, cinnamon, French vanilla, and tonka. So I definitely feel like this is going to be more of a fall scent just because of the cinnamon in here, also because of the tonka. But then you have the French vanilla, then you have Irish cream. So let's see. Let's see what season this is most appropriate for. Definitely for fall. Yeah, 100%. The cinnamon. It's the cinnamon. This kind of reminds me a little bit of like a pumpkin set. This is very pretty. Really nice. This would definitely be a seller for fall. I love it. This reminds me, this is for anyone who, uh, in the Scentsy world, um, I'm going to be doing a lot of like comparisons to Scentsy when I feel like something smells like similar to something. This to me reminds me a little bit of Pumpkin Cinnamon Swirl, which was one of my favorite, favorite fall scents from Scentsy. I feel like if I were able to find like a pumpkin scent, I could mix it with it and it would smell exactly the same. This is beautiful. I really, really like this one. Really, really love this one for, for fall. Gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. I should have brought this one and had my cousin smell this one. She probably would have really liked it too. So we have here the last scent is goji berry and mango and this one has notes of goji berry ripe mango and taraco orange i wonder what that is i'm really hoping i pick up on that mango i need something that's more mango based guys i really do i don't have anything yet that's mango based i haven't found anything that screams mango to me so let's see mm -mm -mm. we got a mango winner I've been wanting a mango scent. I pick up the mango. I definitely pick up the goji berry as well. This is really pretty. I really like this. I do think I get a little bit more of goji berry in here than the mango, but I still get a lot of mango. This is so pretty. I do kind of get a little bit of a tropical vibe from this, from the scent. This is gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. So good. Ugh. Guys, I'm so happy with this. If I were to say my favorite scent, my favorite scent is the Plum Moscato and Almond Harvest. Guys, oh, there is nothing like this. It's so sweet and juicy. My mouth's getting watery again. It is so sweet and juicy. Oh my God, it's so fucking beautiful. I'm sorry. I'm sorry when I swear, guys. It just, it comes out. I have a potty mouth sometimes and I don't, I'm, I'm not sorry. Actually, no, I'm not sorry for it. Okay. Cause I'm being my true authentic self here. Oh, this is so good. This is hundred percent going to be one of the scents. It has to be. Ugh, I feel like I should savor. I really, honestly, I really do want to release like out of the, um, the dupes that I'm looking here. I feel like Baccarat Rouge would be the one I would release first. But I think in terms of like my like my 10 that I would release, I would probably just go with the Plum Moscato and the Goji Berry Mango. Definitely this one. I might end up switching this one around. I'm going to just go through all the scents again and see what I would definitely want to release. I still, I still don't. Maybe even Mandarin Cranberry. Mandarin Cranberry was a really, really good one too. Very citrusy. Very, very like brightening and awake and oh, it's so pretty. I really like it. But Plum Moscato, oh man, there's just, I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed. This is number one. For anyone who is making candles and stuff or anyone in the group, because I'm going to be posting this in the Lark group, you guys need to pick this one up. Pick this one up. You will not regret it. It's beautiful. It's different. It's it's everything you want it to be. Anyways, thank you guys so much. Thank you to Jesse for sending me these fragrance oils to try out and to test and do my first sniffs on camera with you guys. As always, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe to all my social media platforms, which I will link down below, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.